This year at GU ASCO 2021, we present the final results of the phase one trial and expansion cohort of Cabo Nebo uh, and Cabo Nebo IPI for patients with genital urinary tumors. Um, Preclinical work done with uh, Cabo Zantiniv in urethelial cancer cell lines and tumor xenografts uh, demonstrated that the MET HGF pathway may be important in urethelial carcinoma, and that led to a phase two study of cabozantinib monotherapy in patients with bladder cancer. And within that study, we saw that cabozantinib had monotherapy activity um, and that um, it also may modulate uh, immune subsets, um, providing a rationale for combining cabozantinib with immunotherapy such as nivolumab and nivolumab and nivolumab. And that led to the phase one study that I'm presenting today at GU ASCO 2021 of uh, uh, cabo nebo and cabo nebo ipi. And uh, I present not only the phase one dose escalation study, um, the first 54 patients, but also the additional seven expansion cohorts for a total of 120 patients. And what we saw is an overall response rate of 38% in, uh, in a heterogeneous group of patients with genital urinary tumors, including very rare tumors, with an 11% complete response. And the median duration of response was 23 months, and the time to response was two months. And when we look at it by tumor type, the overall response rate for patients with renal cell carcinoma, uh, including sarcomatoid uh, uh, patients, is an overall response rate of 42%. And in patients with urethelial carcinoma, so the overall response rate that we saw for the entire cohort was 38% uh, for um, all patients with a complete response rate of 11%. And remember, this is a very heterogeneous group of patients with genital urinary tumors. The median duration of response was 23 months and the time to response was two months. And if we look at it by tumor type, the renal cell carcinoma patients, the overall response rate was 63%. And this included patients with sarcomatoid uh, histology. And for bladder cancer patients, uh, advanced bladder cancer patients, the overall response rate was 42% with 21% of patients achieving a complete response. And we also saw activity in rare tumors, such as adenocarcinoma of the bladder, um, urethral squamous cell carcinoma of the bladder, small cell carcinoma of the bladder, penile cancer, renal medullary carcinoma, and chromophobe renal cell carcinoma. And actually, the safety uh, and preliminary activity that we saw in the renal cell carcinoma um, in, in, in patients with renal cell carcinoma and rare GU tumors informed the development of several phase three trials, including the Checkmate 9 er uh, the COSMIC 313 study, and the Alliance Pedigree study uh, in renal cell carcinoma, and the Alliance Iconic phase two study in rare GU tumors.